So now we're on Daf Yud Zayin Amid Beis. At the end of the first line, Tanan, we learned that Mishnah, this is back on Daf Yud Zayin Amid Al Fat Seresh, Echaliel's Erev Shabbos, is Beit Shammai Omrim Yom Tavach Achara Shabbos. Ubeisil Omrim Ain Lo Yom Tavach. So again, the way we interpreted it until this point was that Beit Shammai hold that the carbon of Ola cannot override the Yontif because the Sark of Ola is no Achilas Adam. And therefore, if at Saras is on a Friday, we cannot bring the Karbonus neither on Friday on Yontif, but the Ola should be postponed by a day, but the next day is Shabbos, and certainly it doesn't override Shabbos, and if we have to wait till Sunday, Sorry, why can't we bring it Friday? Because Beit Shammai hold that Ochel Nefesh is only Achilas Adam, which applies to a carbon Shlomin. But Ola, which is Kulo Kalil, there's no element of Tzarech Ochel Nefesh, and okay. if it doesn't, the Malacha doesn't override the Yadiv, and that's okay. called Tzarech Avot. But Beit Shilomim, Ein La Yom Tavot. What does that mean, Ein Lo Yom Tavoach? Pashtus, we're going to have to say, but that's not the literal translation of the words of Beis Shalel, that we don't have to postpone the Yom Tavoach of HaKrovas HaKobar until Sunday. We can do it on Friday. Because Beis never accepted the exclusion of Lachem Velo Litzar Kavah. But the Gemara doesn't think so. My love, shouldn't we interpret Beis as referring, Ein Lo Yom Tavoach La? Now, what does that mean, Ein La Yom Tvach Klal? Klomar. Sheim Lo Hikri B'Yom Tiv Atzmo, Shuv Eino Yochel LaHashlim LaKrivam LiAchra Chad. It sounds like Basil is denying the entire entity of Tashlumin in event that he didn't bring the carbon on Yom Tiv, which he could have done, but he didn't do so. The right, answer is low. That's not what Basil uh, have intention of saying. She'eno tzricha yom tavoch. You can be makar according to Basil, all the carbonates of the Chag on Yotav itself, and therefore in the case of Erev Yom of, of Erev Shabbos, of Yom Tov, the Erev Shabbos, will be makar of all the carbonates on Erev Shabbos. In event that he wasn't makar of the carbonates of the Chag on Yom Tov itself, he's given a period of Tashlumen, and he can be makar of it after the Chag. So the Gemara asks, "Umai kamash malon? The makrivin be yome that you can be makriv the korbanos of the chag on yotiv itself against beit shammai because beit shammai hold lachem v'lo legavo. It's not ochel nefesh. Ha ifligi b'achad zimna. You're basically repeating exactly what it says in the Rish of the Mishnah, and I'm very happy about the Gemara's kasha because we ask this on our own." It says in the Rasha of the Mishnah, Beis Shammai Omrim, Mevim Shlomim, we bring Shalmei Simcha on Yontif, but the ain't some can I fine, have a low Olos. We don't bring a carbon Ola on Yontif. Beis Shalomim, Mevim Shlomim, Ve Olos, the some can I So we see that according to Beis Shalom, you're allowed to be Makrim Karbonis of the Chag on Yontif itself, and there's no exclusion of Lachem below the Gavar. So there's no need for Yom Tovach to postpone the Yom Tovach to Sunday. But that's, that's already written in the Mishnah, the Rach of the Mishnah. So ain't it Tzricha Yom Tovach? Why, why, why are you repeating that which we know already, which is explicit in the very Rach of this Mishnah? And the Gemara answers, Tzricha, the Ashmin and Baha. If we only had the Rach that on Yom Tov of Atzeres, if it is on any day of the week, is then we can bring the carbon on Yom Tov. And in this case, Beit Shammai would hold that you don't bring an ol on Yom Tov. Why? You can bring it after Yom Tov, which is a weekday. But here the next day is what? Is Shabbos. Ema module, we might think 
that Beit Shammai can see to Beit Hillel, that we can be makriv on Yontiv, because if you're not going to be allowing him to be Yakim on Yontiv, he's going to have to be Doches Karbonos by two days, not only by Friday, but also by Shabbos. So you have a two-day gap. You know, this reminds me, uh, uh, I'm not equating them, but it reminds me of Kvur uh, Sames. You know, if somebody dies never on a Thursday and they want to ship his body off for burial to Eretz Yisrael and they can't get there before Shabbos, they're going to have to send the body on Saturday night or Sunday until they bury him. It might be Monday. Right. And he died on a Thursday. I'm just right. using this for Saber to Ozen here too. Base Hillel are going to argue against Beit Shammai, how long can you postpone the Karbonos? They were meant to be brought on a Friday, and now the earliest time you're allowing them, Beit Shammai, is going to be on a Sunday. So why not bring the Karbonos on Friday? But the answer is Friday is young. But maybe in this particular scenario, where young is on Erev Shabbos, and Shabbos for sure we can't bring the Karbonos, Maybe Beit Shammai would allow bringing these karbonos of Ola on Friday on Yom Tov itself. But now we can ask the following question. Why not tell us the Shita in the Sefer and I would not need the Reisha? Why? Because once you're telling me that even in the Sefer, Beit Shammai still remain steadfast that we don't override the Yontif with the Karbanos of Ola, even if it means waiting two days, because Yontif is on Erev Shabbos, is how much more so in a regular Yontif, Beit Shammai would say, wait till after Yontif. Well, you don't have to wait two days. Why did the Mishnah have to go out of its way in the Rasha to tell me that Beit Shammai prohibits these Hakrovos on Yontif in a normal, regular yontif, which is during the course of the week, we can certainly derive that from what, what's explicit in the Sefer. My answer is the E, Ashmina Baha, if we only had the Sefer, then if yontif is Chal and Erev Shabbos, Beit Shammai would nevertheless require that you postpone that crop for two full days. And how much more so if it's only a postponement of one day, but nevertheless we need to tell me a chidich about Beis Hillel. Is Baha Kamri Beis Hillel, when do Beis Hillel say that you will bring the Karbanas of the Chag on Yontav itself? That's Baha Kamri. Basil, only in the case of the Sefer. Bishum Delo Ef Shalom Mocha. Tomorrow is going to be Shabbos, and then we're going to have to postpone the Karbanas for two days. And maybe we should be afraid of, shall we say, a Pshia. Maybe there'll be some sort of a Pshia. They're not going to bring the karma by postponing it for two days. And because of this pressing need, Beis Hillel sees the exception to the rule and the matter bringing the carbon on Yontif, on that Friday. Avul Baha, but in the ratio with the Yontif was on any other day of the week. And you could easily postpone that carbon till tomorrow. Ema modu, I might think that Beis Hillel, a modu of Beit Shammai, and that Krava is not docha Yontif, it doesn't override the Yontif. Tzricha, and therefore I need the ratio of the Mishnah to tell me the Chinich that Beis Hillel allows you to override the Yontif even if it's a matter of waiting a few hours till tomorrow? No, no, no. There's a din of Ochel Nefesh even if you're not eating it, but the Mitzbeach is eating it. And that's the Chinich of the ratio. Then we have the Chinich of the Sefer that Beit Shammai are very adamant about that Shita that we don't override Yontif with Karbonus Achag 
even in a case where therefore it means that we have to postpone our growth for two full days. Toshma, the Gemara now raised another objection to Rabbi Oshia from a Brisa. Mishal Ochan, if he didn't bring his Shalmei Chagigos or Re'iyah for the entire Shiva Simeya Pesach, or in the case of Sukkis, Shonis Simeya Chag. And then it says, with regard to Shavuos, it says, V'chem Mishal Oivim B'yogtif HaRichon Shalat Seretz. I understand after the seven days of Pesach is over Zmano Botan I understand after the eight days of Sukkot over Zmano. But why are you telling me that if he didn't bring his Karbonus on the first day of Yontif of Atzeres, Shumein Achoge, my love, the Yontif Shal Atzeres, he was not makriv his karbonus hachag on the yotav at Ceres. And there's no din of tashlumen for chagas shvuot. And this is a difficult question for Rav Oche because Rav Oche has said that through the hekesh between chagas shvuot and chagas pesach, he derived a lot of tashlumen even for shvuot. Right. And by the way, I you know, this is an obvious point. Shvuot is very unique because bishleim on pesach and Sukkot, your tashlum is within the framework of the holiday. Right. In the case yeah, of, yeah. of Atzeres, yeah. it's already a weekday. It has nothing to do with Atzeres. How can you bring a tashlum for Atzeres after mm. Yom? Yeah, yeah, I thought of that, yeah. And this is a catch that we have on Ravocio who says that just like Pesach has seven days of tashlum, and so too Shavuos has seven days of tashlum. The Gemara says, lo. This Brysa is not even talking about a case where he failed to bring his karbonos on the Yom Tov Atzeres. But let's make a little change in the language of the Brysa, and we should be Gores Yom Tvach, which means that Yom HaTashlumen Shal Atzeres Shuv Eino Chogit. Mishal Ohevi Es HaKarbonos Bizmana Kavul HaTashlumen so he's saying, no, we're not talking about a case of someone who didn't bring his carbonus on Yom Tichel at Ceres. But Yom Tavach means that he didn't bring his Olas Re'iya or Shami Chagiga So he can't bring the, the carbon. So wait a minute. How is the Gemara answering this? I don't the, I understand the cash. I'm not sure how the Gemara rejects and deflects the question. Yom Tavach. So again, we have to change the gear so here from From Yom Tov Harishon Shalatz S, and it says Yom Tovach. Ah, you see, Yom Tovach is a phrase that indicates Tashlumen. And this price is simply telling me that if he missed the boat even on the Tashlumen, then Shuvei Netzarach. I mean, he ain't a chogin. He doesn't have the opportunity of bringing a carbon Netzarach after Yom Tov is over. So if he didn't bring his carbonos on the Zman that's Kavua Litashlumen, 
then he cannot bring his car. So the Gemara asks, Hachi, if this be the case, and the gears of the Bryce is not as we have in Yom Tov Rishon Shalat Seres, but rather it should say Yom Tov Oach. Is Nifshat Minei the Chad Yom Tov Oach. We should prove from here, from this price, that at Seres has only one day of Tashlumen and not seven days. And once again, we're back to square one. This is a question on Rav Ochia, who holds that even with regard to Atzeres, we have a, an entire week of Yimei Tashlumen. And Tashlumen shall Atzeres nimshachim ad melos shivas yomim miyom achar. So if the gear says Yom Tavah, it means there's only one day of Atzeres. It says it in the singular, Yom Tavah. And that's against Rav Oshia, who allows you a full seven days after the Chag, for, or from the Chag, to do Tashlumen. <coughs> Ema, Yemei Tavah. You should read it as a plural, which means a full seven days. Toshma, Ditani, Rabbi Bar Shmuel, Omra Torah. In Bamibar Perkid Alf, it says, Ad Chodesh Yomim. So the Torah has, in a sense, a double language. It says Chodesh and it says Yomim. And it's telling you that the Chodesh is counted according to dates. Mona Yomim. He counts the days. Apparently, he's counting 29 days, and the next day, which is day 30, Kadesh Chodesh. You should be Mechadesh, or Mechadesh the Chodesh, who I bring in Karbonos. And we're talking about the Musaf Karbon of Rosh Chodesh on that day. And with regard to Chagashuas, it says, Tisru Chamishim Yo, Mene. You should count 49 days, Yomim, Ula Machras, and on the very next day, Kiddush Atzeres, day 50, is sanctified for the Harvaz Karbonos of Re'i and Chagiga. So we're going to derive an opinion of, and we're going to equate one to the other. Machodesh Lemenu Yov, Atzeres Lemenu Yov. Just like we bring a Karbon on Rosh Chodesh. And Lemenu so therefore, when it comes to Chodesh, we need Lim Nuya. It's got to be that day. That is the singular day that has been uh, ordained in its entirety as a day in which we can count the people of, we can count the days for the Karbonos of Rosh Chodesh and not beyond that count. So on that day that was Establishes Rosh Chodesh on that day alone, you're allowed to bring the Karbonos of Rosh Chodesh. But you can't be Mashlim after that day of Rosh Chodesh. Is therefore we should say, Afat Seres Limnuya, that the Karbonos of and Chagig of Chag have to be done during that one period of time, and they don't allow Fashlama.
So the Gemara explains what the Bryce has in mind. My love. Gomar Mechodesh. We're going to derive the conclusion of Atzeres and its status about Tashlumen from a Hekage to Rosh Chodesh. Ma Chodesh. Yom Echod. Just like in the case of Chodesh, we said Limanu Yom means that Yom. And we're going to count that amount of days. And then Yom Echod, there's one day that you can bring your Karbonos. And that's the day that was Nikba, that was established as Rosh Chodesh. That's the only day you can bring the, the Karbon. Afterwards, it's over as Mana Bata Karbono. The Efshar. Lashlimon, there's no Tashlumen for the Karbonus of Rosh Chodesh. It's Afat Seres, which requires counting Tisbru Chamishim Yom till day 50, is Yom Echad. You're allowed to bring your Karbonus of the Chag only on Yom Tov itself. You can't be Mashlimen. And that's against Rav Oshio, who says that the Din Tashlumen during Chag Ashmuos. Omar Rava, the Gemara rejects this Kasha, the Tisbura. Are you of that opinion? Atu atzeres yomi meninon shavui lomi meninon. That on atzeres we count the days, but we don't count the weeks. From Rabbi mitzvah lemimne yomi mitzvah lemimne shavui yomi d'siv. Tisru Hamishim Yom and Shvue because it says the Tsiv Chivas Chiva Shvuas Tisbalo. So from the Heke Shavat Seres to Chodesh, we're going to derive that on Chagat Seres, which is counted based on weeks, you can bring the carbon for seven full days. And you get the Tashlumen of seven days. It's not against Ramoshia. The own, and furthermore, Chag Shavuas Ksiv. In the Torah in Dvorim Pesayin, it mentions Chag Ashmuos. And we, Umima Shekara HaTorah Latzeres, Beloshon Chag Shavuos, the Torah itself calls this day Chag Ashavuos. We see that the minion of this day is the minion of Shavuos. And in fact, that's Abai's opinion. That we must count Shavuos. I don't know if there's any opinion that says it's enough to count Shavuos. That I don't know. But it's very possible that what the Brisa has in mind is that we derive from Rosh Chodesh that you can bring the Karbonus of Re'in Chagiga of Atzeres during seven days. And that reflects the Sheet of Rav Oshio. The Bey Rabbi Eliezer ben Yaakov Pana, Amar Kra. So this is another source for the din of Tashlumen for Chagashvuos. Amar Kra u Krosem, and it says Bietzam Ayom Azeb Mikra Kodesh Yelochem Kavlech Savodolos Hasu. And the next pasuk it says Ube Kutzrechem Etziratzechem Lo Sechalep Kutzrechem. So from the smichus of these two psukim. The Pasuk before teaches us about the that which it says that at the same time he was Osek in the Pasuk Lofano and he said it's muta to do Ktsira. Isaac Chag Chatakore, you read the Pasuk Mikrokodich Vikotzerbo, if he omer say Chagat Seres, because the Talmud says, Vikrosan Vietzam Ayoma Se, Mikrokodesh, which is a Pasuk that addresses Chagash Shavuos. That's what it says in the Pesukah before that. Emas, when is this man that's called Mikra Kodesh? And it's Mutam Ktsira. Elam, if we're going to say it's Yantif, it's Shavuos itself, and it's Mutam Ktsira. So we're going to ask the question, Ktsira be Yantif be Chori. How could we be Matir Ktsira on Yantif? It's Asura. And of course, it's one of the 
malachos that was prohibited on Yontif Minat Torah. Elalav, therefore, for sure, the Pasuk is referring with Hashlumen after Chagashvuros. Even those days are called Mikra Kodesh because you can bring the carbon of the Chag. And Ketir is Muteris because these days do not generate any Eastern Malach. So we learn from this that there are Dinim of Tashlumen in the Yomim that are after Chagashvuros. We have forgot the Itmar. Even though we learned a member of Rabbi Lazar, Om Rabbi Oshia, that the Makar of the Din of Tashlum and Chagashvuros is derived from the Hekesh between Chagashvuros and Chagashukas, nevertheless, it's just, we still need the Drasha of Rabbi Lazar ben Yaakov. The E, if we only had the Drasha of the Hekesh of Rabbi Lazar, Om Rabbi Oshia, Hava, I mean, we would have said, Ma tashlum shel chagamatzos osur basias melacha, right during the seven days of Pesach, which are the days of tashlum and this in Isra Melach. And that's Cholamoid and Yontavach until Pesach. Af, so too, we would think tashlum at Tzeres Nami, osur basias melacha, those days after, it's Kamash Melon. That's why we need the derivation of the Brisa of the Josh of Rabbi Lezer and Yaakov that during the days of Tashlum and of Chag you're allowed to do Malacha, as the Torah says, you're allowed to do Ketzirah. But if we only had the drush of Rabbi Eliezer and Yaakov, yes, we would have certainly known that during Yemei Tashlum of Chag there are days of Tashlum, but Lo Yotana Kama, we do not know exactly how many days of Tashlum, there's no indication how many days there are, Kamach Malan, that's why we need the Brisa, of the Drosh of Rabbi Lozar, Omar of Oshio, that just like Chag Matzos, we have Yimei Tashlumen that stretch out over a period of seven days. So too, on Chag Ashvuos, we have a full week, a seven-day period of Tashlumen. That's where we're going to stop here on the top of Daf Yud Ches Omer Thank you very much.